Hi, this is Otis Collier, your personal branding coach. And in this video, I want to share with you how you can hide certain information from people who are connected to you on Facebook. So let's say, for example, your boss requests a Facebook connection. And that is probably the last thing that you want to happen is to be connected with your boss on Facebook. Facebook is the place where you like to hang out and let your hair down and say things that you may not necessarily want your boss to know about. And so I'm going to share with you how you can still accept your boss as a friend, but protect yourself from exposure to certain things that you post on Facebook. So I'm here at my, on my Facebook profile. The first thing that you're going to need to do is create a list, a friends list. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the right hand corner of your Facebook account under account. You'll see a drop down arrow. And what we're going to do is we're going to click on edit friends. Once we click on edit friends, you'll have a list of all of your friends. And what we want to do is we want to create a new list. Under create a new list, you'll see where it says enter a name. And in this box, I'm going to type professionals. So all of the people that I'm professionally connected with, I'm going to type their name there or type in the name professionals as my list. And then I'm going to create that list. Now what you should see is over to the left hand side, you'll see that we have a list called professionals. And if I click on that professionals list, I don't have any friends in that list just yet. I can add friends to this list by simply clicking on add friends. And then when this my list pops open, I can select certain people from my list. So I'm going to select Alex. I'm going to scroll down. I'll select Barbara. I'll also select, let's see who else, Bill. And then I'll click Save List. Now you'll notice that I have three people in my professional list. Now you'll also notice that they are in, all three are in two different lists. So you'll notice that they're in closest friends list as well as professionals list. And so I want to keep them in a professionals list. So I'll uncheck them from my closest friends and they will all now be listed under professionals. Now that I've done that, what I now need to do is I need to set up my privacy settings. So what I'll do is I'll go to account and click the drop down. Under account, you will find privacy settings. And we will go to our privacy settings. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to take a look at our basic directory information. This is the basic information that you'll find on our uh, profile. Uh, basic settings like hometown, interests, and things of that nature. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this link that says view settings and under view settings, you'll find that there are a couple of different settings here. Search for me on Facebook. You can determine how many people can search for your Facebook or how they search for you on Facebook. You can determine who sends your friend requests or who even sends you messages. Now I leave those to everyone. Anyone can find me. Anyone can send me a friend request and anyone can send me messages. But here's the one that you may want to protect see my friends list. Now, maybe on the weekends you hang out with some unscrupulous people and you've got some unscrupulous friends or what I like to call unprofessional friends. And so maybe you don't want your professional friends to know about your unprofessional friends. So here's where you would change the ability for your professional friends to see who you're connected to. So under everyone, what we're going to do is click the drop down box and we're going to customize this. So I'm going to click customize. Now I can make this visible to friends only friends of friends or specific people. So I can have only certain people that I put in here. I don't want to make this visible too, but what I want to do is I want to hide this from, I want to hide it from people. And so I can either enter their name or I can enter the list that I created. And if you remember, I created a list called professionals. And there's my professionals. And I can add additional lists if I choose to do so. 
So in this case, I'm going to save this settings. And what this means is that anyone who is tagged as a professional in my list, they will not be able to see my friends list. So we'll click save setting and that will create that. Now, see my education, current city and hometown, see my interests and other pages. You may want to hide that. It just depends upon what you want to do there. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my privacy. And now what I want to do is I want to get under the sharing on Facebook. So what I want to do here is I want to customize my settings here for sharing on Facebook. Now, what I can do is you'll see different things that are created um, post by me. So these are the different posts that I may post and update on my Facebook profile. So it says default settings for posts, including status updates and photos. So again, what I would do here is I would customize and anyone that was listed under professionals would not be able to see my updated status. Uh, family, relationships, uh, interested in, looking for, bio and favorable quotes. These are all things that you can customize. Uh, religious and political views, your birthday. These are things that you can customize. Um, edit album for privacy for existing photos. So we can go in and do that as well. Here's things, photos and videos that I'm tagged in. Now, a lot of times what this means is this is not just photos and videos that are on your profile, but let's assume that one of your unscrupulous friends or your unprofessional friends has a photo of you at the picnic this past weekend where you got a little tipsy and they posted it on their Facebook page and they tagged you in that in that photo. If you don't set this up so that the, your professional friends can't see this, then they will be able to see that particular photo. So you'll go in and you'll customize this. Now, I already have mine set up and customized, but uh, let me just set it back to everyone, and then we'll go to customize here. And then the people who I don't want to see are the professionals, and we'll click Save Settings. And what this does is this allows you to go along and find all of the different things that you don't want people to see on your Facebook profile. And then the only thing that you have to make sure is that when you do accept them as a friend, you select them and put them in your professional's friends list. And that will limit what they have the ability of seeing. This is Otis Collier, your personal branding coach, and I hope you've enjoyed this session. Thank you.